Hi everyone, this is Autumn from The Primary Techie. Just wanted to show you my new Whack-A-Mole set. This is Whack a Short Vowel. It's included in a kindergarten and first grade bundle. I'm also working on a second grade bundle that will be coming out soon. So this is kind of like the directions that we're gonna click a mallet to see which mullet wax. We're listing for short vowels. So this mallet has gum, g a uh, uh, gum. So we click on the mallet and it's gonna go whack the U. And then we'll go to the next one. Sled, sled, eh, eh, sled. So this is like the teacher part that you're doing at the board, but there's also printable mats and directions to make mallets so the students are engaged. And I'll show you those in one second. So there's a PowerPoint like that with 30 words to practice. And then there's also one called, um, speed whack that has um it's kind of like flashcards and it'll go by itself whack the vowel sound you hear in the word on the mallets whack fast before they're gone so this will go all by itself i would use this definitely after i've used the other ones um so the kids know the words and you've already practiced together and now they can go through and practice independently frog and they're all going to hit an o real quick stamp and they're going to hit an a real quick so this is just practicing um and let me show you the mats and the mallets. So I've included three different mats you can print out. This one's all for that short eval activity that we did. And there's three different like levels of ink usage. I like this one because it's in color, but it's not like super inky. And then you can make mallets really easily by cutting up a pool noodle and sticking them on a pencil. And then the kids can whack their choice as you go through. How fun is that? And then there's one more option with this. I've also made great big mats that you can actually stomp on. Um, and I made these out of nonstick shelf liner, like you'd use it to put in a drawer or um, for your, in your kitchen cabinets. I did that because I didn't want kids to, you know, bust their butt slipping on the floor. But I just made these really easily by cutting out an oval. And then I cut out a little square that I put on the back and I glued it on three sides but left it open on the top so I can slide this in and out which will allow me to change skills for the whack-a-mole because I have a lot more skills coming.